Ahoy everyone, and by everyone I mean you, male kind. My name is Veronica Laverie, and even though this can be tailored for women as well, I made this list just for you. And there is so much to talk about, so I decided to split it into episodes. So at this episode, we just crack in the shell of what you guys or gentlemen, which is the word that I prefer to use, should not do on a date and should avoid it at all times. You may be surprised what you're gonna find in this following list. If you avoid any of the following scenarios, you're not gonna only please me, but all the other women I talked to when I was putting this list together, as well as other women that are probably too afraid to tell you that these things are giving you so many minus points. So please try to avoid those following points that I'm about to share with you so your dating life and overall love life can flourish and you can make the best impressions possible anyways just briefly ladies let's have a little talk here shall we sometimes out of love women and men do very stupid things like ignoring what's bothering them until it boils over and they cannot stand it anymore or even worse they just accept it without even trying to improve the situation one trick here that will make your life a way better and lighter experience is just simply get what you want to say out of you and stop holding it. Not only your mind is gonna free up, your whole relationship is gonna be so much more open and communication is really the key and if you don't like something you should say it right away. Don't wait until a few days later and start complaining because it doesn't do a relationship any good and honestly you're really being a dishonest person if you just pretend everything is good until a few days later when it's not even relevant anymore but you start complaining about some old issue shouldn't be mentioned in the first place so this is just a little remark and before we start the list i just wanted to make things clear that just by communicating openly you can improve any relationship you have if it's romantic business family whatever just please be open be more transparent and your life can change in an instant and you're not gonna believe how your life can be so much better just by doing that i tried to make this list pretty short because it's the first one of many 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 coming so if you want to see the next ones make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it because the new episodes are coming soon and if you want to have a full scope of what you shouldn't do on a date and what can improve your relationships and your love life please make sure you watch them all as I already mentioned before we start the list, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because more episodes on this topic are coming soon and you don't want to miss it do you? I think this picture can already summarize the topic which I want to talk about and that is balding now I understand that a healthy luxurious hair is supposed to be a sign of a young healthy individual but we don't all have the great genes in that department and while for a female it is acceptable to wear hair extensions and fake that horse tail mane for men a toupee is really looked down upon and is just plain terrible in reality a real woman doesn't want her man to have a better hair than her or oh my god wear hair extensions or the hair pieces like toupee listen i don't approve of toupees myself but in the past i did meet a few gentlemen that actually wore them and i tell somebody else told me about it i wouldn't even notice so you guys can fake it and you can fake it pretty well however when the time comes when you're supposed to take it off do you think your lady would really like to see this bold part and just the sides. I think any woman and I'm sure that every woman I know would definitely just shave it all off. When your head gets into the point of severe balding in certain areas, especially here or when it goes really really deeply down here, it's time to say bye bye. In Czech you would say ciao ciao and just kiss that hair goodbye and if you thought it was doing your favor all these years just walking around with the little pieces of hair because you thought little bit is better than nothing no it's not it really looks hideous and your look from 10 looking at the front wow this is a handsome man but then he turns around and i see this balding part that's really you just cannot miss it the points from 10 go 
ultimately to zero because this is not attractive i never understood why guys do that why don't you just go bald headed because the bald head is first of all so sexy and even though you don't have a head like bruce willis i'm not saying bruce willis has the best head but you know that's the first name that came to my mind i just think everybody would benefit from the bald head instead of having the little hair here and here because nothing is worse than the bald head like that and even if you start balding earlier who cares you can still rock the bald head and you can be sexier than ever it just really looks bad when guys are holding to their last pieces of hair thinking it's gonna make them look younger it really does the complete opposite if you or if you know anybody that has this problem of balding please suggest them to go bald they will get so many compliments just for the courage to do that as well as compliments from women that gonna see it as a sexy hairstyle meaning no hairstyle even though this hair topic may not have been something that you expected for like a first date advice I thought I'm gonna throw it out there because I see it so much around me and anytime I see just anybody walking by with the bowling head like that I just want to tell them something their life would be so much better and they would look so so much sexier just without the freaking bowling head Number two, don't feed your date recycled jokes. And what I mean by that, I mean jokes that you had prepared beforehand or jokes that already worked on your past eight dates and everybody was laughing. <laughs> You're so funny. And they just boosted your ego. So now you stick to the same joke and you always bring it to the date. It is so transparent and so stupid. I have no idea why would anybody think that it's gonna be really a fun thing to mention when it's done unorganically there are situations when you can recycle joke and it's fine but it needs to flow it needs to be organic this joke is not gonna help you if it comes out of nowhere and all of a sudden wow the girl notices that you have it all set up all prepared i can see right through i know when the guy told his jokes many times before i know when he had it all prepared and he wants to stick into his scenario this is of course coming from my personal experience when this happened to me and i knew this guy had told this joke before many times and he probably got those fake laughs like i showed you before and i just didn't laugh and i saw that it just made him feel so uneasy like how come this girl doesn't laugh at my successful jokes I'm not gonna fake it I'm gonna straight up tell you hey that wasn't really funny what can you do I'm not gonna fake my laugh and I'm not gonna fake having fun if I'm not having fun so me personally instead of laughing I was questioning his joke because there were a lot of things I had questions about because they did not make any sense he got all sweaty and all weird because I messed up his game, I interrupted, I didn't do as he expected, I didn't follow his little made up rules. Loser. So just please don't have these jokes prepared beforehand. Of course you have topics that you want to talk about, you have it in your mind, you want to bring it up. But bringing up something like a pickup lines and stuff like that to a date it's ridiculous if your date is smart enough she's gonna see it and i don't think you're gonna get a second date out of that arriving early and rushing us to get ready earlier than scheduled this applies to all those impatient men that just want to be there super early and just ready for the date but in the reality if you set up a time you should really stick to the time the most disrespectful of course is arriving later especially if you don't mention it beforehand emergency can always happen traffic can happen whatever but if you arrive super early and you expect the girl to rush put her eyelashes on do the makeup quickly just to see you five minutes earlier it's not gonna work for me personally it does not give you any plus points if you arrive super early if you arrive few minutes earlier it's awesome it's perfect you ride on time you're ready to go but if you arrive let's say half hour before I had my schedule pretty set up you know I know when I'm finishing curling my hair I know when I'm putting my shoes on I know when I need to walk out of the door if you start rushing me way 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 before the scheduled date this is giving you already from my book minus points because I hate to be rushed I like to be right on time not saying I like to take time but I like to follow the schedule 
and maybe this can sound weird to some people but really rushing us ladies is a big no-no and I believe a lot of the women out there would agree it just honestly makes you annoying number four And this applies to people that may be picked up at their home or pick up at the location. It is about not getting out of your car to greet your date. This is such a common sense and should be such a common thing to do. But I notice some guys do not do it at all. And yes, I'm calling them guys because this has nothing to do with being a gentleman. If you're a gentleman, you picking up your date or you arriving to a location where she wants to be picked up, you are supposed to get out of the car. You're supposed to greet your woman. You're supposed to open the door. If you're just picking her up and sitting in a car waiting for this piece of meat to arrive, sit in a car say hello this is so unpleasant especially for the first time this is a big no-no and I had this happen to me before and I honestly wanted to turn back around and go home when I saw this because it's so disrespectful and if I never met you before if there is no traffic if you have a place to park for 10 seconds what's the problem this really makes your date feel like she's not being treated right and if you want to have an enjoyable experience and nice date you should be a gentleman. No real woman is gonna date you if you don't treat her like a woman. Plus, you're not a soccer mom arriving to pick up your kids waiting in a car. You're waiting on a date that you want to make a good impression on. So those 10 seconds getting out of the car, opening a door, it's so, so crucial. Yeah, minus points were applied right away. I did the date anyway, but in the back of my mind, I was already making a summary what I didn't like. It did not go for a second date. So I'm just trying to help you guys. Point number five. Yes, just five. Do not bite your nails. And I know this applies to women as well, but for men, I think they just overlook it so easily because they think, I don't need a manicure, why do I need to be all feminine and dolled up like that? It's not about that, it's just about a good hygiene. And especially if the girl is attracted to you in one way or another, she probably imagines you touching her at some point in the relationship. It may be just a simple touch or whatever more intimate. And for touching, you need hands right well if she looks at your hands and is all disgusted by the way you bite them or don't take care of them why would she want your hands on her body gentlemen this is such a big turn off if you don't take care of your hands and don't make them look nice i'm not saying go get fake nails and put the nail polish on i'm just saying make them look presentable women do notice just like men notice nice nails on a woman we do the same if you think we're not visual i'm sorry to crush your dreams but yes we are and if i allow any other hands on my body than my own i want them to look nice and i don't want them to make me want to vomit number six simple and straight to the point food in your teeth yes i'm talking about simple pieces of food in your teeth sometimes bigger sometimes smaller and no there is nothing wrong about asking for a mirror when you eat a salad or anything you want to make sure you don't talk to your date with something in your teeth it's so disgusting and if you think that just water can flush it all down and you're gonna be all good sometimes you really 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 need the mirror of course guys usually don't carry a mirror but Maybe you should start, especially if you have little gaps, which everybody probably have. I know I do have some. Nobody wants to talk to a person that has dirty teeth and is just freaking nasty. And if you expect that you're gonna get kissed from a girl when you have this junk in your teeth, <laughs> forget it. The seventh point here is, for me, a complete no-brainer. And that is talking about yourself constantly so maybe i should summarize it as just having a monologue on your date because you do not ask any question of your date you just talk about yourself your ego is getting all inflated and of course the easiest topic to talk about is about yourself however it does have limits and a date should be a teamwork it should flow it should be exchange of words from both parties it shouldn't just be a monologue you're there for a nice dialogue nice chemistry nice connection 
connection. Another part of this point would be not asking questions when your lady is telling you a story, but just nodding and thinking that you know everything and she's never gonna question you about it. This is so annoying because guys do this very, very often, especially when the woman has so much to talk about and maybe she's too talkative and the guy just cannot handle it. But you know what? There is nothing wrong telling the girl to slow down, explain herself more so you can really get to the story instead of letting her do the monologue that just drives everybody crazy and it drives me personally crazy when guys do that or even women I just cannot stand the yapping I, I cannot stand just constant talking I like asking questions I like to be sucked into the story and just really knowing what happens being as an empath in that person's position and seeing it from their point of view and perspective so I would suggest really to if the story is getting too long pause it for a second ask a question if she's really tangling herself in a story and there is no way out it's better to ask questions and really have a nice conversation out of the story than just saying mm-hmm mm -hmm, and having your mind somewhere on a harley in the mountains or something you know your mind is just out of your body not even being present and you just have to know because this story is so annoying but if you just change your attitude and try to help communicate better this story can maybe be even enjoyable so this is actually not something to blame you maybe sometimes it can be the other person's fault because they just do talk too much and when they want to talk your ear off the only way to shut it off is just really straight up tell them hey this is just kind of long i'm getting lost in the story can you pause for a second what happened here what was this and break it a little bit and maybe bring up a different topic that you guys can talk about that can be enjoyable for both of you I feel like I just tangled myself in a story, but you know what I'm saying. Just ask questions and don't just do the nodding because that's so annoying, especially when the person asks you at the end, so what do you think about that or what did you think about this particular situation and you just don't know what these past five minutes were all about. It's embarrassing, isn't it? Number eight. Phone disrespect. This is another no-brainer and I feel like I shouldn't even mention it But in this era everybody needs to hear it. I actually do not have this experience from my dates because everybody or everybody I can remember has always been very respectful of our time and the phone is on silent unless of course this person is on a call has a job that really requires him to answer right away then it's okay but normally just put that phone on silent and just maybe have it on vibrate if you really need to know what's going on or if you're expecting somebody to call but the only time i personally use my phone on a date is when the person happens to go to the bathroom but sometimes even then i don't feel like i even need my phone i'm enjoying my time with this person or trying to and just by being present you can already improve a date so much instead of just being worried about this and replying to this just relax put it aside things can wait unless it's an emergency but you're there to spend time with this new person why don't you give them your full attention I think today we're gonna actually end up on number eight because I do have to run and I'm not gonna have time to mention any more points but I just wanted to say that this video is here to help you it is not here to criticize you in any way I'm just here to tell you what you may have been doing wrong and how to improve yourself and your future relationships if you didn't agree with things i said in this video please leave a comment down below i'm looking forward to hear from you and maybe having a little discussion about it there is more videos like this coming and if you want to hear the other next eight points or more keep on watching my videos and subscribe because more episodes are coming on this topic and i don't want you to miss that thank you so much for watching this video this entire time i appreciate you and your time and energy please make sure you subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Ciao, ciao.